spirit. Let's see this resume. So I here your student taught at Bradenton. Good school. I really enjoyed that experience. And I actually started a math team that went to the state finals. I used to work with kindergartners before they put me behind the desk. God, I love those fucking kids. Great hugs and their smiles. Gives you a reason to wake up in the morning. Absolutely. You mind? Totally. You're allowed to like drinking, you know what I mean? Sure, of course. That's why I love those kids. I mean, if I was sad or maybe a little drunk, they don't judge, you know? Maybe I worked my way through an eight ball and woke up in St. Pete with half a kitten in a cardboard box. Didn't matter. Those little guys, good for the hug, always. Well, I've always thought that a, a nurturing approach is much better than being an authoritarian. That's why we do it. We don't do it for the bitches, that's for certain. No, I, <laughs> I do not do it for the bitches either. <laughs> no, not to say I pay for sex. I mean, strip club occasionally, but that's no biggie. There's nothing wrong with a gentleman's club. No, there isn't. Me personally, big fan of Odyssey 2001. You been there, uh, the strip club? I think I've seen it from the highway with the, with the spaceship. Yeah. 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 A good strip club has to have a compelling theme. Otherwise, you're just jerking off in a warehouse, you know? Do you mind if I give you some advice? Please do. This isn't teaching advice. This is life advice. OK, cool. Never do two illegal things at the same time. I like that advice. Can I give you some more advice? Do not go to a strip club in the town you live in. Not even Odyssey. Especially not Odyssey. Why? Because it becomes habitual. Before you know it, you're just stopping by for a quick drink. And the bartender's mixing you a G and T before you even ask for it. And then one day you wake up, and guess what happens? I don't know what, but it, it sounds bad. You're married, man. You're fucking married. And your wife? She's still working the pole four nights a week. Fuck me. <laughs>